Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry for my hairstyle and my outfit, but I'm really comfy and I really just didn't want to change out of it. I know I'm super lazy, but it is what it is. But I am giving you a two-in-one makeup tutorial. So I did two lip colors that completely change up the makeup, which I think is really fun. So I have a bold lip on now and I did a really fun orange metallic lip that's in, at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see the different lip options that I have. Um, and I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I did more of a different eye makeup than I usually do. I did a, like a wing eyeliner and then more of a cat, um, like a cat wing on the inside corners of my eyes, which is something I usually don't do. Um, so I'm really excited how this turned out and I think um, it's super fun and different than what I usually do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys leave me down um, suggestions for future videos that you guys want to see down below in the comments and also definitely follow me on all my social media so you guys can keep in track and see all the makeup uh, pictures for this makeup look that I will post and just pictures of really cool makeup um, so yeah thank you so much for coming back from my channel and watching this please subscribe and I will see you in the video bye guys so I did my brows and all my eye prep stuff off camera and now we're just going to go straight into the eyeshadow. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to be using is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee and I'm going to be using this Morphe R40 brush which I've really really been loving this brush a lot. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do but I really do and I highly recommend this one. And I'm placing Creme Brulee all throughout my crease and dragging it out because we are going to be creating more of a winged eyeshadow look. I'm now going to blend that with the Sigma E40 blending brush. Next I'm going to switch to my favorite brush, the MAC 217, and I'm going to be mixing the shades MAC Saddle and Anastasia Caramel to get a nice warm rich brown shade and we're going to place that deeper into the crease again doing more of a wing eyeshadow look so I'm dragging that color out again. Then I'm going to go back to the Sigma E40 and blend that out once more. Next to deepen up the crease I'm going to go in with a contour shade and I'm using the Anastasia contour kit shade in Espresso. And I'm starting on the very outer corner of my eye and building up the color, dragging it in a little bit towards my nose and then bringing it back out to complete that winged eyeshadow look. And I'm going to be applying that with the Morphe R39. This is just a very precise, small blending brush. Okay, next for the lid shade, I'm really, really excited to be using this Morphe palette that I've had for the longest time and haven't gone around to using it. And I'm going to be using this beautiful gold shade all over my lid. And it's super, super pigmented and shiny, so a little goes a long way. And I'm using a packing brush from Sigma to pack that on my eyelid to get maximum payoff. Then I'm just going to add this darker shade in the palette that's pretty warm toned and I'm going to put, place that color in between that gold shade and the matte crease colors on the edge just so we can ease that transition. So now I'm going to be doing a winged eyeliner and I'm going to attempt to do it on camera but I may leave halfway because it might be too hard, I don't know, we'll see. But for winged eyeliner I'm going to be using the Tarte clay pot Amazonian clay waterproof liner in black. One of my favorite gel liners ever. So unfortunately my camera died when I was filming my winged eyeliner so I did it off camera. I'm really sorry if you guys wanted to see that. I will try very hard for the next video or the next time I do a winged eyeliner to film it for you guys. Um, but yeah my camera died and I couldn't do anything about it. Um, but yeah so I'm back and I'm gonna get started on my face now so I am gonna come back to the eyes later it's just I want to get my foundation my basically my base on and then I'm gonna come back to the eyes 
I just like to do it that way just so I can get the concealer underneath my eye so there's like a good base for like the eyeshadows to stick onto. Um, and so that's just how I do my makeup and that's how I find it works best for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to start off by priming and prepping my face with my favorite Smashbox primer. This one's just the clear one and this one is so good for helping the texture of your skin become very soft so the foundation blends and lays on your skin super nicely ow oh ow okay i have been sick and my nose actually hurts to touch it because i've been blowing it so much oh my god rip Andrea's nose For foundation, I'm going to be using one of my all-time favorites, and that is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I love this foundation. It really does a great job at giving you beautiful coverage. It's natural on the skin, amazing color range, so anyone could find a shade just right for them. Um, and my shade, if you guys are curious, is Y245, also known as 120. And now I'm going to stipple that with the Sigma Flat Top F80. I haven't used this brush in like a hot minute. It's been a long time. Pretty nice. I do like the Morphe one better, the flat top like six or something or I don't know. I use it in all my videos. I think that one is my absolute favorite flat top. The Sigma one is still good, but I personally think the Morphe one is like it's really soft and it's not as long as this one. So I feel like I have better control over it. Um, and I just think it bounces in the foundation better. Um, that's just my opinion, but this one still is really good as well. Now I'm going back with um, a second layer on just the areas where I need it. So like definitely over here because I've been breaking out a lot and then a little bit up on my forehead and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that out. I'm also just going to go over my face just to make sure everything is pushed in and flawless. For corrector, I'm going to be using Dermacolor, this little palette right here, and I'm going to be using the shade D55 in this palette, which is just a really warm pinky beige to counteract all the discoloration I have underneath my eyes. I learned that Dermacolor is not meant for HD photography, which is something I had no idea. I totally thought it was going to be for HD, but it's not apparently. And so the only way to really make this okay for HD is to really, really take your time to blend it out instead of just simply applying it to where you need it. So I really take my time to, with my finger most importantly, to blend it out and to push it into my skin. For under eye concealer slash highlight, I'm gonna be using an oldie but a goodie. These are the MAC Pro Longwear uh, concealers um, and I'm mixing these two shades one is an NC 20 the other is NC 25 I'm like in between these so I'm just mixing these two together and I'm going to highlight my face with it and then now I'm going to take a concealer brush and I'm going to put the concealer right underneath my wing so we can really cut it out and make it sharp and just really really pretty if that makes sense and then I'm just going to blend that all with my trusty beauty blender now I'm just gonna highlight the rest of my face with that same concealer I'm just using a, a concealer brush to apply it Okay, so now I like to use my foundation brush with a little bit of the foundation on it 
and just kind of blend over the areas where I highlighted so it's not so like super contrasting between the foundation and the highlight. To set my under eyes and my face, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. I just started getting into this a little bit. Like, I never really loved it when I first had it, but now I've been more into it, which is pretty cool. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this powder made me look extra white. Um, so I'm going to put some more color on my face, and I'm going to be using the MAC MSF. And mineralized skin finish powders and I'm gonna be using medium light which is this guy right here I'm just gonna use that same brush I put the white powder stuff on I'm just gonna place that all over my face a little bit underneath the eyes just to add some color because I feel like I'm really lacking it right now and I know this is a lot of powder but one, my makeup's going to stay on so much longer, and two, I am going to be putting a spray, a little Fix Plus on it just to make it more moisturizing. But this looks a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but I feel a lot better. So I'm going to take Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee again with the Sigma R40 brush. And that is going directly underneath my eyes. So next I'm going to use my Tarte Ist in the Bloom palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Activist which is just a dark black brown shade and I'm going to be using my MAC 212 flat definer brush and I'm going to pack that underneath my eyes as close to my lashes as possible. I'm just going to blend out that eyeshadow with the Morphe R39 brush. So now I'm going to go back with my gel liner and I'm going to do like an inverse wing eyeliner on my inner corner of the eyes just to make my eyes a bit more almond shaped. Okay, so now I'm going to do my mascara off camera and for mascara, if you guys are curious, I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash. Okay, so I did my lashes off camera and I used the Blinkin' Beauty number no. 4 eyelashes. They are absolutely beautiful. They're one of my favorites for sure. And it just complements the wing so nicely because it blurs out at the ends. So now we're going to move on to the face. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the best bronzer ever, which is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Light Medium Bronzer. I'm going to be using the Morphe M509 brush. Again, one of my favorite brushes to apply my bronzer. And I'm applying that bronzer to my forehead, my temples, and the backs of my cheekbones. And then I'm going to now contour my face and I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette in Fair Medium. Um, and I'm going to be first going in with the sculpting side. So I'm going to be contouring my temples my cheekbones, and underneath my chin. For blush, I'm going to be using MAC Warm Soul. This is a beautiful blush that will complement our eyeshadows very nicely. And I'm going to be using the MAC 129 Blush Brush to apply that to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using the highlight side of the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I'm going to be using my Artist Couture fan brush. And I'm just getting my cheekbones right here. And I'm going to put some on my cupid's bow. So I'm going to contour and highlight my nose. I forgot to contour my nose when I was doing the contouring, but whatever. I'm going to go use the contouring shade from this palette. And I'm going to be using the Morphe R39 brush. And then for highlight, I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to swirl it in highlighter shade right here. I'm just going to put that right down the center of my nose. 
Okay, so now we're gonna move on to lips because we have the base all done. And I have two lip options for you guys. One's super fun and one's just like your basic dark lip. But I really wanted to add both because I really just wanted to use this one lipstick. And the first lipstick I'm gonna use is by Jeffree Star. And I'm not gonna say the name because I'm really uncomfortable saying it out loud. So I will leave the name in the description bar down below. Mm, look how pretty. Cute. So this one's the first lipstick that I thought would be really, really cool with this whole makeup. And I love this shade. Like, I think this is so fun. Um, it's just a really true pumpkin-y bronze shade. And it's super glittery. Like, I don't know if you guys can, like, see super well. Actually, you can. But it's like a metallic. It's not really glittery. It's more really shiny. So I think this is super fun. And I think you guys would really like this one. Okay, so this is the second lip option I'm gonna give you guys and this one's a dark lip for all those who love dark lips this one's for you and I have not tried this on my lips yet and I've had this for like four months now so I really really want to use this and this is the Tarte Lip Architect lipstick and lip liner in the shade Diva which reminds me a lot of the shade Diva from MAC. It's just a really pretty red berry color. And what I really like about this is that you have the lipstick on this side, which is just a regular crayon. And then you have the lip liner, the matching lip liner on the other side. So it's super convenient. So I am super excited to give this a whirl. And here is the look with bold lips. I like both lips. I usually don't do bold lips, but I really like the bold lips. Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys a little close up. So I really like the lipstick. I'm not a huge fan of the lip liner, I would say, but the lipstick was super pigmented and super creamy. Um, so yeah, I really like the product overall. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out my social media to see more pictures of this makeup and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more awesome videos from me. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya!